Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on adding and subtracting fractions. So let's start easy. Here we're asked to add 4 ninths and 1 ninth. Here you can see this is super easy and gives us a final answer of 5 ninths because you can see 5 ninths are shaded overall. Now this is easy because the portions are all the same because the denominators are the same so we can easily add or subtract. But what happens when we have different denominators? Well, we have to look for a common denominator. So let's look at this question where we have different denominators. Here we're asked to add 1 third and 7 twelfths. But all our portions are different. So let's identify the lowest common multiple because that will enable us to make the denominators the same. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 12 is 12. So now I can convert my 1 third into 4 twelfths. And you can still see this is exactly the same as our 1 third. Now it's super easy to add. So here we have our 4 twelfths and here we have our 7 twelfths, thus giving me an answer of 11 twelfths. So let's look at another way but to quicken it up without using pictures. Well, we're asked to work out 1 eighth and add it to 2 thirds. Well, first things first, we can see we have different denominators. So let's identify our lowest common multiple. Well, the lowest common multiple of 8 and 3 is 24. So I know I need to make our denominators 24. But what do I do to this denominator 8 to make 24? Well, I multiply by 3. And what do I do to this denominator 3 to make a denominator 24? Well, I multiply by 8. So that means, using our knowledge on equivalent fractions, I multiply the 1 by the 3 to give me 3, the 8 by the 3 to give me the 24, the 2 by the 8 to give me 16, and the 3 by the 8 to give me 24. Now it's super easy because my denominators are the same. So this gives me a final answer of 19 over 24. Let's have a look at another question using subtraction. Well, we have 9 tenths and we're subtracting 2 fifths. Identifying the lowest common multiple of 10 and 5 is 10. So I know I need to make my denominator 10 for both of these fractions. Well, what do I multiply 10 by to give 10? It's simply 1. And what do I multiply 5 by to give 10? Well, it's 2. So now let's multiply. 9 times 1 is 9. 10 times 1 is our 10. 2 times 2 is our 4. 5 times 2 is our 10. So now my denominator is the same, and it's super easy. This gives me a final answer of 5 over 10. This is not in its simplest form, so now let's cancel down. Well, what's the highest common factor of 5 and 10? Well, it's 5. So dividing the numerator by 5 gives me 1, and dividing the denominator by 5 gives me 2. So this means my final answer is 1 half. So let's have a look at a past exam question. We're asked to work out 1 and 2 thirds, take away 4 fifths. Now before we do this question, let's have a look at some key words. Firstly, with the word mixed number. Well, a mixed number is a number which consists of a whole number and a fraction. And an improper fraction is where the numerator value is greater than the denominator value. So let's look at converting a mixed number into an improper fraction. To do it, it's very simple. We simply multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator. So 5 times 3 is 15, add the 2 is 17, and it's still over the denominator of 3. And this is my improper fraction. So now let's have a look at converting an improper fraction into a mixed number. Well, to do this, it's very simple. It's the opposite of what we've just done. So how many 5s go into 22? Well, it's 4. And what's left over? Well, 5 times 4 is our 20. So 22 subtract our 20 gives me a remainder of 2 over 5. So just remember, the 4 is basically how many times that denominator fit into the numerator, and the 2 was the remainder, and the denominator stays the same. So now we know the difference between a mixed number and an improper fraction. Let's give this past exam question a go. To do it, we have to convert 1 and 2 thirds into our improper fraction. So 1 times 3 is 3, 
add the 2 is 5. So this means my mixed number is 5 over 3. And I'm still subtracting my 4 fifths. Now, you'll notice, just like before, we have different denominators. So we need to identify the lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is 15. So what do I times 3 by to give 15? Well, it's 5. What do I times 5 by to give 15? Well, it's 3. And then we simply multiply. 5 times 5 is our 25. 3 times 5 is our 15. 4 times 3 is our 12. 5 times 3 is our 15. Now it's super easy because we have the denominators the same. So 25 fifteenths take away 12 fifteenths give me a final answer of 13 over 15. Now let's have a look at another exam question where we're asked to work out 1 and 3 quarters and 3 and a half. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Well, let's use our technique where we're able to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction. So, 1 times 4 is 4, add the 3 is 7, so this gives us 7 over 4. 3 times 2 is 6, add the 1 is 7 over 2. So I've converted both of our mixed numbers to an improper fraction. Now let's have a look at our denominators. Well, the lowest common multiple of 4 and 2 is 4. What do I multiply this denominator of 4 by to give 4? Well, it's 1. What do I multiply this denominator of 2 by to give 4? Well, it's 2. So let's multiply. 7 times 1 is our 7. 4 times 1 is our 4. 7 times 2 is our 14. And 2 times 2 is our 4. Now we simply add to give me 21 over 4. Now let's convert it back into a mixed number using our knowledge of converting. So how many times does 4 go into 21? Well, it's 5, remaining 1. So my final answer is 5 and 1 quarter. Remember, this works for addition and subtraction of fractions. I hope this has been of some help when you're adding and subtracting fractions. Remember to use your knowledge on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions and improper fractions to mixed numbers. When you have different denominators, always identify the lowest common multiple. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.